Now we shall have a quick review of the previous problems that we have done in projection of lines from problem number 1 to problem number 5. So we shall see some other points which are related to problem number 1 to problem number 5. So we shall take the first question now. So the first question was like this, draw the projections of a line AB 70 mm long parallel to both HP and BP. Point A is 50 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of BP. Okay, so uh, we shall see some other points related to this particular question. So line AB is having a length of 70 mm, a length of 70 mm. So this length is known as true length. This length is known as true length. Okay, so true length of the line is 70 mm and the line is parallel to both HP and VP. The line is parallel to both HP and VP. Okay, that means it does not have any inclination with respect to HP and it also uh, don't have any inclination with respect to VP. Okay, so inclination with respect to HP, it is denoted by the letter theta. Okay, so here we don't have an inclination with respect to HP. So the value of theta is zero. And the inclination with respect to VP, it is in, uh, it is denoted by the letter phi. Here we don't have any inclination with respect to VP, so phi value is also zero. Okay, so true length is 70, theta value is zero degree, and phi value is also zero degrees. So in this case, line AB is parallel to both the planes. So because of this reason, the front view that is the a dash b dash this is the front view this is also known as elevation as the line is parallel to vp the length of the front view that is elevation length will be same as that of the true length of the line which is 70 mm and as the line is parallel to hp the line is parallel to hp the length of the top view the length of the top view which is also known as plan length that is the length of ab it will be same as that of the true length okay so these are the specialities of this line in this case the line is parallel to both hp and vp so when the line is parallel to both hp and vp both in the front view and in the top view the elevation length and the corresponding plan length will be one and the same which is same as that of the true length 70 mm okay so that is regarding the first question so regarding the second question, so draw the projections of a line AB 50 mm long parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So point A is nearer to VP and 20 mm in front of VP, point A is 30 mm above HP also. So in this case, the true length of the line is 50 mm. So here it is marked, true length is 50 mm and in this case, the length of the front view so here you can see the front view as a dot here it doesn't have any dimension okay so the length of the front view is actually you can say it as zero this is because the line is perpendicular to VP okay the line is perpendicular to VP so here we are having a small dot but you can assume it as zero so this is only because the line is perpendicular to VP when you're observing from the front the line seems to be a point and length of the front view will be you can consider it as zero and what about the length of the top view the line is parallel to hp is it the line is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp so as it is parallel to hp whenever a line is parallel to hp its top view will be having true length okay its top view that is length of the top view plan length it will be plan length it will be same as that of the true length. So here plan length is equal to 50 which is equal to the true length of the line. This is only because the line is parallel to the horizontal plane, parallel to the horizontal plane. And in this case, theta value is zero. What is theta? Theta is the inclination with respect to the horizontal plane. So here the value of theta is zero. This is because the line is parallel to HP and the value of phi, the value of phi is 90 degree because the line is perpendicular to HP. Okay, so the true length is 50 mm, elevation length or the length of the front view you can consider it as zero. The length of the top view you can consider it as 50 mm, theta value is zero and phi value is 90 degree. Now we shall consider the third question. So regarding the third question here, draw the projections of a line AB 70 mm long perpendicular to HP point A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. 
so in this case also the true length of the line is 70 mm which is directly given in the question true length of the line line ab capital letter ab uh, length ab means the true length is 70 mm so in this case the length of the front view this is the front view so this is the front view the length of the front view which is known as elevation length this is equal to the true length which is equal to 70 mm this is because the line is perpendicular to hp so obviously when a line is perpendicular to hp it will be parallel to vp so in this case if you notice uh, it is not mentioned that the line is parallel to vp but we can assume that whenever a line is perpendicular to hp obviously it will be parallel to the vertical plane okay so when you are observing from the front you will be getting the front view as the corresponding true length itself so length of the front view and the true length of the line both will be the same so that is why here elevation length and true length are the same which is equal to 70 mm and plan length is zero why plan length is zero because the line is perpendicular to hp so when you are observing from the top the line seems to be a point so here you can consider the plan length as zero this is because the line is perpendicular to hp the value of theta is equal to 90 degree because the line is perpendicular to hp the value of phi is equal to 0 because in this case as the line is perpendicular to hp it will be parallel to vp parallel to vp means the inclination with respect to vp is equal to 0 that is why it is mentioned as 0 so these are the specialities of this line now we shall consider fourth question draw the projections of a line ab 80 mm long incline 30 degree to hp and parallel to vp point a is 20 mm above hp and 40 mm in front of vp so here the true length of the line line capital letter ab is equal to 80 mm so the true length is 80 mm true length is 80 mm so in this particular case the line is parallel to vp the line is parallel to vp so what happens when a line is parallel to vp its front view will be having true length that is elevation length of the line and true length of the line will be the same this is only because the line is parallel to vp so true length of the line and the elevation length of the length of the line they are the same which is 80 mm and in this case as the line is having an inclination with respect to hp inclination with respect the actual inclination with respect to the horizontal plane it is denoted by the letter theta so here the value of theta is 30 degree the value of theta is 30 degree so it has got an inclination with respect to the horizontal plane so because of this reason that is it has got an inclination with respect to the horizontal plane when you are observing from the top this line seems to be having it seems to have a reduced length and that length is known as the planned length length of the top view so here length of the top view is smaller than that of the true length so the planned length is smaller or lesser than that of, that of the true length this is only because we have got an inclination with respect to the horizontal plane okay so whatever may be the inclination with respect to the horizontal plane the top view of the line will be having reduced length it will be lesser than that of the corresponding true length okay so here the value of phi is equal to 0 the value of phi is equal to 0 so from if you are having a value of some uh, 1 degree also the length of the top view will be will not be 80 mm so if it is 2 degree again it will be lesser if it is 3 degree again it will be lesser so likewise it is going on so when the line is having an inclination of 90 degree with respect to hp what happens the length of the top view will be approximately or you can say that the length of the top view will be zero so this is about the fourth question so here elevation length this is the plan length elevation length and the true length they are the same and plan length is lesser than that of the true length okay now we shall see the fifth question draw the projections of a line ab 75 mm long inclined 45 degree to vp and parallel to hp point a is 30 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp so in this case as the line is parallel to the horizontal plane so it is mentioned that the line is parallel to the horizontal plane so before that here the true length of the line is 75 mm true length of the line is 75 mm and 
as the line is parallel to the horizontal plane when you are observing from the top the line will be having its true length so planned length of the line and true length of the line both will be 75 mm this is only because the line is parallel to the horizontal plane okay so that is the first thing you have to remember then as the line is inclined to the vertical plane as the line is inclined to the vertical plane in the front view when you are observing the line from the front you won't be getting the true length so when you are observing from the front you won't be getting the true length of the line so the length of the front view that is elevation length will be lesser than that of the true length or it will be uh, having a smaller value than that of the true length so elevation length is uh, lesser than that of the true length this is only because the line is inclined to vp and here the value of theta is equal to 0 degrees this is because why the value of theta is 0 degree this is because the line is parallel to the horizontal plane and here the value of phi is equal to 45 degree okay the value of phi what is phi phi is the inclination with respect to the vertical plane phi is the inclination with respect to the, the actual inclination of the line with respect to the vertical plane it is denoted by the letter phi so here this value this 45 degree that is equal to phi so these are the points that you have to remember from all the previous questions now we shall discuss about the projectors of a dash b dash and ab so in the first question when you observe here the front view of uh, a is denoted as a dash and the top view is denoted as a so both a dash and a will be along the same projector so likewise you have got b dash and b so here also the same is applicable that is both b dash and b will be along the same single projector okay so both the front view and the top view of a point will be along the same projector that is a dash a and b dash b so a dash a will be along the same projector and b dash b also will be along the same projector so here these two projectors are known as the end projector of this particular line a b okay so the distance between the end projectors here it is denoted as 70m okay so this is an end projector and this is another end projector and it is between these two projectors our front view and top view is occurring so in the next question here this is the top view of a and this is the front view of a so if you notice both the front view and the top view of this point a it is along the same projector and this is the front view of b and this is the top view of b so both the front view and the top view they are along the same single projector so here the line is perpendicular to vp so that is why all the points are along a single projector okay here we don't have two distinct n projectors but we have got a single projector so along the same projector we have got a dash b dash a and b in the third question the line is perpendicular to the horizontal plane so in this case also the front view of a dash sorry in this case the front view of a which is a dash and the top view of a which is small letter a it is along a single same projector and b dash and b also it is along the same single projector here also we don't have two distinct end projectors we are having all these points along the same projector in question number four this is a dash and this is a if you notice both a dash and a they are along the same single projector b dash and b are also along the same single projector so here we are having an end projector here connecting a and a dash here we are having another projector connecting b dash and b so this these are the two end projectors here this is the distance between the end projectors okay so in question number five this is a dash and this is a so it is along a same single projector and this is b dash and b and it is also along a same single projector and this is the these two are the end projectors of this particular line what do you mean by an end projector end projector means both the front view and top view it will be between these two boundaries so these points also you have to remember when you are drawing further questions.